My name is Brian Croman. I'm a mid-card street fighter chasing a warrior's dream. I have exactly one year to become the number one ranked jury player on Xbox Live. Now that sounds like something I can sink my teeth into. Along with my roommate Shu the Pixie, my trusty mane, and a whole lot of gold bear, I know I can make this dream a reality. I want to be the best around. So if you haven't seen this week's best match of the week around, I highly recommend that you guys check that video out. It is by far the, the not just the biggest win of, of my best arounding, but my biggest win ever playing Street Fighter. Uh, but if you don't feel like checking that out right now at the moment, here are some quick highlights. <laughs> That was the number eight ranked Hakan player on Xbox Live. The biggest win I've ever had playing Street Fighter. And I don't want to sound like I'm selling myself short saying this, but I can't really take that as some sort of some sort of gauge of my abilities or or take this win as some sort of incredible accomplishment or, or benchmark. Um, it's not like I, I beat the guy in a best of seven. It was just, you know, two out of three, one match. And that's, that's really no way to, to gauge my ability over another player. Um, he could have just been having a bad match. I, I might have just gotten the drop on him. He's, maybe he's never played a lot of jury players the same way that I've never really played a lot of Hakan players. So, you know, I, I have to admit, I didn't really know what the hell I was doing in that match. I was just trying to see what stuck, and whatever I was doing, it stuck, because I won that one match. Um, obviously, what the uh, best match of the week around video doesn't show you is that I later met e Dog on Xbox Live, and, and we had another match, and I got bodied. Quite easily, as a matter of fact. He completely wiped the floor of me. I was thoroughly slaughtered. You know, it's fine that that happened. Uh, that, that's, that's what I come to expect when I play high-ranked players like that. So just, just the fact that I was able to get just one win off, off of a player of that caliber, you know, yeah, it, it feels pretty great to have done that. But um, the, that's not the reason why I'm making an episode about this subject, actually. What... Uh, what this episode is primarily fueled by is that um, E-Dog sent me a message after that, that rematch that we had with each other. And uh, it, I, I thought it was... I don't want to say touching because it, it wasn't... It sh it's not supposed to be taken that way. But um, what he said was, uh, I'm surprised you wanted to fight me again. 
Why didn't you just take your win and go? At least that's what everyone else does. And to that I say that I, I just feel bad that people actually do that. I mean, at the end of the day, best around is a challenge where points matter. Where I, I'm, I'm frantically keeping track of, of my, my BP, which, which gauges my rank. The whole point of this challenge is to become the number one ranked jury player on Xbox Live. And that means accumulating a ton of points. And if, you know, obviously the more wins I have, the more points I have. And if I'm beating higher ranked guys than me, I'm getting more points. So to that, yeah, it would be very easy for me to just, uh, you know, sort of take that win from E-Dog. And believe me, I got a ton of points from that win. But um, I, I guess what I'm just trying to say is that that's not what this is about. I mean, sure, at the end of the day, points matter. And I need those points to accomplish my goal. But it's more than that. You know, what good is accumulating the most points if I'm not actually the best around? You know, uh, I don't know. I just felt like I, I needed to, to sort of get that off my chest, to just sort of say that, that while, yes, this is a challenge that is kept track of by points, but it's not about the points. It's at the end of this challenge whether I I accomplish my goal or not, I just want to know that I I am the best player that I could have possibly been. And that's not the player with the most points. It's the player with the most skill. And if if I happen to have the most points, if I happen to actually accomplish this goal of becoming the number one jury player on Xbox Live, I want to know it's because I earned those points, not because I, I gained a few fluke victories over, over a few top-ranked players, or I'm just boosting my points by, by beating far less talented guys than me and just taking their points. So... You know, in, in a lot of ways, you know, thanks, E-Dog, for, I guess, just, just saying that. Um, you know, I hope to meet you again on Xbox Live. Uh, hopefully, I can give you a better challenge than I did in that rematch we had. Um, and I look forward to playing against any top-ranked player. And I hope that one day I can, uh, you know... Give some of you guys a run for your money. Of course, right now, um, I'm pretty far from that. I'm really only two months into playing Jury right now, and uh, a lot more months to go. So we'll see what happens.